Hi, welcome to the next uh, episode in our series on BH fat. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about uh, the correct date to use for your tax reporting. Most companies or most accounting solutions, in fact, will probably use the GL date. Okay, the GL date is not the correct date. Now, the GL date is the easiest date to do the reporting from. It, I mean, it is easier to reconcile, of course, uh, but it's for most um, integration partners. It's the quickest way of uh, setting up their tax reporting and therefore they make more money because they're not actually doing their job properly. So be careful if you do have a integration partner doing your tax uh, solution, make sure that they actually uh, report by the tax date, not the GL date. Um, now, technically you can still report by the GL date, um, but uh, and, and the reason for that is the majority of transactions from a sales point of view, um, the invoice date, which is usually the tax date as well, will be the same as a GL date. Okay, so that means from a uh, from a sales point of view, the 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 revenue uh, or the the tax that you're actually trying to charge on behalf of the government, you should be collecting and reporting in the same period as a GL. But on the payable side, I would estimate 25%, 30% of all invoices that you receive, you'll be receiving uh, in the following month from when they're issued. And what I mean by that is, uh, you, know, if, you know, as a service-based company, we will bill our clients at the end of the month. And it may take a couple of days to get that bill out. And so even though it will have a date of the 31st of say January, when we send that invoice out, our client may not actually receive it until February when their January GL date has been closed off. So there's a huge amount of uh, VAT that you could be recovering in your January tax return that you're not. Um, the other thing as well is that the tax authorities, they don't go by your GL date or your GL uh, accounting codes or revenue. They don't care about any of that. They care about the tax date, okay? The tax date is generally when you invoice, when you uh, ship goods or provide a service, um, or uh, when you receive payment for those goods or service. So that's generally your tax date. Now, as we've indicated, the invoice date is usually your tax date. So, you know, don't don't get too worried. I mean, there will be situations where if you're doing installments, for example, the actual tax date may be different, but generally the invoice date is your tax date. But if your integration partner is ultimately trying to implement a VAT report or an enhanced VAT report, they're, they're, they're trying to customize one for you and they're using a GL uh, date, then they're not really doing it properly. Now, the correct way of doing it, and this is the way that uh, Innovate Tax does our, our tax reporting, is that we actually uh, have a process that will identify all of the transactions for a particular tax period. So we actually have a separate tax period, and that can be based on a month, or it can be based on, say, a quarter. We will then find all of the transactions where the tax date or the invoice date falls within that period. So let's say we're looking for all of the transactions for uh, January, for our January tax return, that will include any transaction with an invoice date of 31st of January or before, even if the GL date is in February. Okay, that's really important. So on your sales side, the majority of your uh, sales will have a tax date and they'll have a GL date immediately because when you, when you put a, a sale in your system, you will normally account for it immediately. But on the payable side, there'll be a lot of transactions that you will receive um, in the following month that relate to the previous one. And so, so by doing a tax reporting solution where you're actually capturing the transactions based on the tax date, what it allows you to do is to pull all those transactions in from January, but also all of the transactions with a January uh, transaction date, but with a February GL date. So there's a lot more VAT that you can actually recover. What it also means is that any adjustments that you may need to do that close off your January GL period, but your tax period is still open, it means that you can make adjustments in February for transactions with a, a January, say 31st or before date, they will automatically get picked up in your January tax return. So there's a huge advantage there because all of the adjustments you're making are done within your system and automatically coming through rather than you having to make a manual adjustment later on, which is really uh, what a lot of the tax authorities are trying to eliminate. So when it comes to the tax reporting, you can't just run a report by the transaction date because as soon as you enter another transaction that may fall within that date um, or that date range, it will skew your, your reporting. So whatever solution you have that does report by the transaction date, you have to be able to lock those transactions down. 
And actually that's something that Oracle does really well is that when we run this process, we identify those transactions in our period, we lock them down. And when we're happy with those values, we actually flag them all as being uh, reported and then they will not be picked up in any subsequent or uh, later um, tax reports. And likewise, any transactions that haven't been picked up in the last tax return will automatically get picked up in the next one. So it's not as easy as it sounds, but if you want to do your tax reporting correctly, that's how you do it. Um, feel free to get in touch with us if you want to find out more. Uh, and of course, we have a full uh, solution built to handle this uh, tax reporting for you already, proven in both uh, uh, Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. Thanks.